Are you f***ing afraid of going to a hostel? Have I recommended going to a hostel over a hundred times on this channel? Well, in this video, I'll tell you why hostel life isn't that scary. So, hostel life. Um, the first hostel I ever went to was actually one for my friends. My friend's parents owned the hostel and I was up in Canada and we went there and it's basically just like a bed and breakfast. Uh, I think they called it a hostel or something, but it was basically a bed and breakfast. Um, they had a bunch of different rooms. You could rent them out, you could go stay in there, go stay in the mountains. You know, they had a big cool yard. They had a lot of raspberries and strawberries and a zip line and just a lot of cool stuff we could check out. Um, after that, I went to Japan and I checked out a bunch of hostels throughout Japan. I found out how awesome they were and how like cheap and just like just a cool experience because you can go to a hostel and it costs you nothing. I can't remember who recommended me to look up hostelworld.com, but once I started going on hostelworld.com, it was phenomenal because I was able to go on hostelworld.com or on the app on my phone. You can go compare, you know, type in a city, let's say um, type in Chicago or New York or France or I mean Paris, Paris, France or Dublin, Ireland, you know, wherever it is. And say for Dublin, Ireland, you type in you know, some dates and then you can look at maybe 50 or 20 or 30 or however many hostels they have there. But many, many people review the hostels and so you can be like, oh cool, this hostel has um, 500 views. There are, this hostel has 500 reviews, or this hostel has 2,000 reviews, or you know, 500, you know, 100, 200, whatever it is. You can go and read the reviews, and hostels with more reviews generally have you know more travelers. Obviously, you might want your hostel to have you know like private rooms, or you are cool with sharing rooms, or you're looking for a certain price, or you want your hostel to have a bar or to have a pub crawl, or you might want it to have a travel guide, or what, you know, whatever it is, a cafe, free parking. Um, on hostelworld.com, you can check out to see what stuff your hostel has. And when you go to the hostel, um, say you go to a youth hostel, you can find out quickly if it's a party hostel or not, because they'll let you know when you're checking in, hey, we have a sign up for a pub crawl, or we have this event going, we have a yoga class, we have a cooking class, we have all these different things going on, which is awesome. A lot of hostels nowadays are becoming more and more like, it's almost like a, it's, it's in between like college dorms and like a club and a hotel. And it's like, it's just an environment where a lot of travelers who don't have a lot of money come together sometimes and they um, some of them do have a lot of money it just depends but um, they just come together and they're just trying to relax they're open-minded they're maybe traveling and they're seeing a new city you know whatever it is it's it's a lot of fun you maybe in a shared room a lot of them have private rooms but if you're in a shared room sometimes they have curtains um, they have little lights sometimes on different beds. Sometimes it's a, just a bunk bed with no plugging and stuff. That's why it's good to have portable chargers, but um, you can look at the pictures on the on their their specific link on the hostelworld.com, on the app or whatever it is. You can find out how much it costs. Um, I was actually super excited today because I found the cheapest hostel I've ever seen in the world so far. The cheapest hostel I've been to I've actually slept at was $2.30, I think, and that was in Kathmandu, Nepal. But I'm going to Vladivostok, uh, Russia here in, it's like April something, and uh, at this hostel they have, um, it looks pretty good, I mean, if it's not, you know, I can go in, you can go and check it out, if you don't like it, you can go to the next hostel as long as there's room, but um, this hostel is less than a dollar. It's 88 something, it's 88 cents per night. And um, one of my other friends is like really skeptical about it for good reason. You know, you gotta be careful. Um, if, something's, if something's too good to be true, it generally is. But um, you know, it's not the nicest place in the world, but I think it would be really cool to say, yeah, I've stayed at a hostel for less than a dollar a day. And that's just like crazy, because you could literally stay there for less than $500 a year. If you could find a hostel that would let you stay there 
and it costs that little. Like, you could stay there for as little as $500 a year. I think it'd be $365. I'd be, actually be less than that, it'd be 200 and something because uh, 88 something cents per night is next to nothing. But it's crazy, like I've actually found uh, when it comes to the hostel life, the cheaper the hostel that you go to, the more open-minded and the funner the people are. Uh, they might be just college students, they might just be you know, like nomadic people who you know work from their laptops. They might be just people who are just traveling. You know, they save them some money. They're just going to travel for a month or a week or a year or however long it is. They might be surfers. They might be backpackers. You know, whatever it is, you're going to meet all kinds of crazy cool people at hostels. And hostel life is just like it's like nothing else. Nothing else I've ever experienced. And it is very, very freeing, very opening. Um, you can, you can just sit down and play cards with a bunch of strangers, and you feel like you're best friends with them. The next day, maybe you're taking a train with them across, you know, Thailand. You're gonna go ride the elephants or um, go see the elephants. I wouldn't recommend actually riding the elephants. But you can go pet the elephants and um, feed them and whatnot. I actually met somebody at I mean about a hostel. No, I met this guy. I think on the plane ride to, um, I can't remember where I met him. He's either on the plane ride to um, to Thailand or I met him at the hostel I was staying at. And we took a train from from South Thailand to North Thailand to Chiang Mai. And we, you know, we were able to see some cool stuff. We rented a, a scooter, went to a water park and um, just had some really cool experiences. And I learned a lot about, from, about traveling from him. He was traveling for a year traveling for about $1,000 a month. And he had the coolest stories. And when, you know, me and him, we met a bunch of other cool people and we were able to share more stories of the hostel we ended up staying at. And it's just like, it's just such a cool experience to be able to travel, meet people, have, have all these cool memories. And just like, I think it's something that everyone should do at least once. You should definitely try the hostel life for, I don't know, maybe a month or a year or five years, you know, whatever it is. Some people might want a home base and uh, eventually if I, if I can travel full time and never stop traveling, I'll probably end up uh, contradicting myself and living somewhere, kind of getting home bases. So I'll still be traveling on stop, but I might have a home base where I, I come for a month or two months a year and then another home base where I go for another two months a year and I'm constantly going from, you know, staying there for a month or two, traveling to the next place, going to the next place, going to the home base for a month or two and just constantly traveling. And you can do this through just hostels, you can do this through, you know, uh, couch surfing or backpacking and camping. There's just a lot of ways you can do it, but the hostel life, the backpacker life, the traveling life is just so much fun. I would highly recommend it. You guys got to check it out. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, if you guys want to see some of my vlogs, when this video is being posted, I have a bunch of stuff being created around Southeast Asia or in Eastern Europe. I don't know where I'm at right now, but um, I'm making this video in advance. So that way I have a bunch of extra footage. I post three times a week. If you uh, want to see more of the content, just hit that subscription button and if you hit that bell icon you'll be notified every single time I post a new video which is three days a week and hopefully it stays or improves and maybe it becomes five days a week but um hi right, guys hopefully you enjoyed this and NST never stop traveling peace out <laughs>